This is question number four um, for you. So on to doing this problem, what they're asking us to do, I actually forget what they're asking us to do. They're asking us to find RH. So we need to find RH, which is right there, right? So whenever, guys, um, we see this, and it tells us that you know, this is a kite, right? We have two pairs of congruent sides. None of them are parallel, so we know we have a kite. Now there's a couple things that happen with a kite, a couple things that we talked about. We know that when we have a kite, we have those two pairs of congruent sides. We do not have parallel sides. But we know we have at least a pair of opposite angles that are congruent, right? And also, something else with their diagonals. Mark, do you remember what happens with their diagonals? They form a 90 degree angle, meaning they are perpendicular, or you know, right angle. So they're perpendicular. They create a 90 degree angle, all right? But I'm trying to find a side length, right? So knowing that these two sides are going to be equal to each other is not really going to help me find the side length. So what I want to do, guys, and whenever you're doing these types of problems, especially with triangles or even of shapes, extract the figure out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shape and take it out. So it looks something like this. And I'll say that length is 20, bless you. That length is 12. Now, if this is 90 degrees, what do you guys think that has to be? 90, because those are a linear pair, right? They make up a line, right? They share the vertex of one side, so it's a linear pair, meaning they add up to 180. If one is 90, then the other one has to be 90, right? So that is a right angle. So now we have a right angle. And one of the first things we told you about when you guys have a triangle that has a right angle, we can apply which theorem? Pythagorean theorem, right? And the Pythagorean theorem says if we have a triangle, if we have a triangle that is a right triangle, and we have two legs, which we'll call A and B, and a hypotenuse C, the relationship between the lengths of the sides is going to be A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Well, in this case, guys, do we have a right triangle? Yes. Do we have two legs? Yes. Do we know what the third side is? No. So we'll call the third side C. You can call it X. You can call it H. I don't really care. But you understand that's the hypotenuse. Why is it the hypotenuse? Because the hypotenuse is always directly across from your right angle. Okay. So now let's create the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem, again, states our two legs squared added together equals our hypotenuse. So I'll say 20 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. Now you might need a calculator, but I will tell you guys, moving on to mathematics, you're going to want to know at least up to 15 squared, at least. Because you're, you, those, prob, those numbers will come up a lot. So 20 squared is 400, plus 12 squared is 144, equals c squared. So therefore, we have 544 equals c squared. Now, to solve for c, you're going to have to take the square root on both sides. And at this point in time, we have not talked about simplifying radicals. So I'll allow you guys to leave your answer as the square root of 544. Okay. That's it. Done. Fine.